So why can't you like feel it? Like just as it was my story, you can't feel it. So I would go every day and I would sit, you know, with all those demons, and I'll be like, you guys, like it's impossible. I have this information from a year and a half, and I yet can't heal with it because emotions gotta be felt. And the moment I met Jesus the first time. It's like he touched my heart, literally. I almost felt like someone touched my heart, literally. Because I think it took me two actual days to heal the inner child I was trying to heal from forever. Because what happened with Satan, I found this understanding I didn't find in the world. This intelligence I had, no one understood me, man. Like, like literally, all people I know are way below under my intelligence. Way below, way, way, way under. Imagine I, you know, uh, uh, an IQ test is gone in three parts. I only done the two parts because at the last I got bored of it. And only until then I scored 128. So I totally believe that my IQ is somewhere above 150 or more. So it's scary for people to meet me and for me to meet them. We look at each other, we don't vibe, we don't understand. So I vibe over there with Satan. But this is the thing, it's something that you lack inside because you are born as a creature of God. No matter how much you, you are, the flesh born as a creature of God. So you lack substance because you need to meet God and that is so. That is you to feel feelings that Satan can never help him. So, Andrew, call on to God, run to me. <laughs>